This episode was made possible thanks to our amazing partner, the Explorer Bible. The Explorer Bible for Kids is a brand new kids Bible that just came out this month and one that I am so excited to share with my many BFFs. I mean, I love telling y'all about a new book and this Bible is no different. Not only is it super kid friendly, but full of engaging content to help bring the very important message of the Bible to life. And did you know that they have several cover options, you guys? So you can pick or your kiddos can pick. What a great gift for Christmas or looking at birthdays. This Bible with the cover design that fits them perfectly is such a cool idea for a gift. To learn more, go to explorebibleforkids.com. And when I visited that website, I was blown away by all that comes with this Bible. So buy your copy today from lifeway.com and get 50% off using the code BFF. Hi, friends. Welcome to the Mini BFF Podcast. I'm your host and friend, Annie F. Downs. I'm so excited to be with you all for a couple of minutes today. Share a little story for one of my favorite books, the Bible. No matter where you are or what you've been up to, I love that I get to spend this time with you. I also love seeing you at our Mini BFF Book Club on the second and fourth Monday of each month at six o'clock central on Instagram Live. If you miss it live, you can always go back and watch later. And today I want to give an extra shout out to my friend Emmett. Hi, Emmett. We love that you love the podcast. We're so thankful to have you as a mini BFF. All right, friends, let me tell you how this episode is going to go. First, I'll tell you a story and then we'll pray together. And then I'd love for you to draw us a picture based on the story that you hear. I'll tell you all about that in a little bit. Okay, are you ready to get started with our story? I wonder if you're going to know this one. It's called Zacchaeus. Here we go. Let me ask you a question, mini BFFs. Do you have any trees around your house? Maybe you have some small trees on your street, or maybe you have some trees in your backyard that are huge. But you know the trees my mini BFFs are always looking for, the ones they can climb. Me too. You know what I'm talking about. A tree that is just the right height with the branches just close enough to the ground. And those branches are good and strong all the way up to the top. But you never climb a tree without making sure your grown-up is okay with it, right? Right, many BFFs. And once your grown-up says it's okay, you grab onto the bottom branch and begin pulling yourself up into the leaves of the trees you were destined to climb. You get higher and higher up into the tree, not too high because you know your grown-up will tell you if it isn't safe, just high enough where you can get a good view of the neighborhood. Depending on where you live, you can see lots of different things from up in the tree. If you climb trees at the park, you might get a better view of the playground. If you climb trees outside your house, you might see other houses like yours. Or if you live way out in the country, you may be able to see all sorts of things from high up in your tree. There are lots of reasons to climb a tree. You can climb a tree for the thrill of getting as high as you can in the sky. You might climb a tree as part of a very cool game you're playing with your friends. You can even climb a tree just to see more of your neighborhood like we just talked about. And sometimes you might climb the tree so you can hide. I know of a story in the Bible where a man climbed a tree so he could see something or someone really important. There's this man named Zacchaeus, and he wasn't exactly well-liked back when Jesus was walking the earth. Zacchaeus was a tax collector, which means he would go to people's houses and tell them to give him money that he would then take to the ruler. Tax collectors didn't have the best reputation back in the day because usually they'd ask for more money than they were supposed to and keep some of the money for themselves. The Bible tells us that Zacchaeus was a very rich man, so there's a good chance he'd keep some money for himself instead of only asking people to pay what they owed. And because of this, Zacchaeus did not have a lot of friends. He had heard that Jesus was coming through Jericho, where Zacchaeus lived, which is also where Bartimaeus lived from our story last week. As Jesus walked through this popular town, Zacchaeus tried to get a good look at him, but he couldn't see. The other thing the Bible tells us about Zacchaeus is that he was pretty short, and the crowds were surrounding Jesus, and Zacchaeus couldn't see over them. So what did he do, many BFFs? You guessed it, he climbed a tree. He raced ahead of the crowds in the direction Jesus was heading and climbed up a sycamore tree to get a better view of Jesus. And as Jesus passed by the tree, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down because today is necessary for me to stay in your house. Well, Zacchaeus wasted no time coming down from that tree. He quickly scurried himself down the branches and joyfully welcomed Jesus to come to his home. Zacchaeus was happy that Jesus was coming to stay with him, but crowds were not happy about this at all. Because of Zacchaeus's job as a tax collector, he was viewed as a sinful man. He took money from the people and used that money to only help himself and not others. 
the people started to complain to each other about Jesus' choice and where to stay for the evening. Zacchaeus heard them complaining, which, sadly, was probably something Zacchaeus was used to. People probably complained about Zacchaeus a lot. But this time, instead of ignoring the complaints, Zacchaeus listened. And in that moment, he felt as though maybe he should do things a little differently. He turned to Jesus and said, Okay, I'll give my possessions to the poor, Lord. And if I've taken anything from anyone, I'll pay them back four times as much. You know who was very happy to hear the change in Zacchaeus' heart? Jesus. My guess is he had a feeling that Zacchaeus might be tired of living in a way that hurt other people. Maybe he just needed a nudge in the right direction, and that right direction is towards Jesus. Jesus said to Zacchaeus and to all the people, Today salvation has come to this house, for the Son of Man has come to seek and save the lost. What Jesus means by this is because Zacchaeus' heart wanted to see Jesus, he came to know Jesus, and through that he was saved. Jesus is always chasing after us, but he is especially wanting to help those who've maybe lost their way a little bit like Zacchaeus did. And Zacchaeus is a really good example of how no matter what you do, Jesus will not only always love you, but he is always chasing towards you and wanting you to come back to him. So the next time you're climbing a tree, I hope you remember that no matter how high you climb, Jesus is always there with you. There is not a place you can go that Jesus won't be there too. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for always chasing us. No matter how high we climb in a tree or wherever we go, we are so thankful to know that you never leave our side. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Oh, mini BFFs, isn't the story of Zacchaeus such a good one? And I really love the part where Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was up in that tree and told him to come down. So for our drawing today, can you draw me a picture of a tree? Or maybe even a picture of you climbing a tree. And remember what I said, mini BFFs, make sure you talk to your grown-up before you climb a tree. It's probably much safer to just draw a picture climbing a tree on paper, right? So draw a picture and then grab a grown-up to post it and tag mini BFF book club on Instagram or mail it to P.O. Box 121826, Nashville, Tennessee, 37212. Mini BFFs, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'm always so happy to have you here with us. Remember, be kind to your grown-ups, your teachers, and your friends, and I'll see you next time. And hey, grown-ups, if you want to talk more about today's story, we read from Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 9. Bye, mini BFFs. Love you, mean it.